I'm back with another video, and today I'm gonna be making a top five um, best Paramecia fruits for grinding. Because my last list was basically all Logias, which seemed pretty unfair for the Paramecia fruits. Because Logias, I mean, like, it's just so easy to farm. Basically, every Logia is good for farming. But I just wanted a uh, list for Paramecia. So first, also this isn't in like in a specific order, but here we have a uh, No. No is pretty good for grinding. Uh, the only problem is just it, it doesn't like it just doesn't knock back moves and it's pretty hard to get, especially when you're trying to get it for trading, because it seems that people still kind of overpriced though. But yeah, though though is still pretty good. So uh, you could you could like just gather all your um, enemies and use Fido just like that and that and just, just got like crazy. <laughs> Which is a nine knockback moves are pretty annoying because I mean Fido isn't really that crazy because you just knock them back again. And you could just finish off your NPC to throw again with the rest of Silver And this move and then the damage for or, like the damage to the skill is pretty good. Yeah, I, I, I think Doe is okay. It's pretty, it's, it's, it's alright. But um, you can use this for grinding and PvP. Because I see a lot of people in the bot groups Discord chat and in game just saying like they want a fruit that they want to PvP and grind with. So you can use this fruit to PvP and grind with. But uh, yeah, let's move on to the next. Our next fruit, this was pretty obvious that I, I, I had to put Venom on this list because Venom is just so good. I'm um, gonna make this fruit more crazy if it was, if the fruit was considered Logia in the anime, but the fruit is not considered Logia. But uh, yeah, this fruit is still pretty good. It's just, it's just like magma, it has like, instead of like lava damage, it's like poison damage. So, as you can see, it makes these like little like poison pits or I don't know what to call this, but yeah. It also has your toxic fog, which you can just run around or just like get low up and just and just spam all your other skills. I'm pretty sure I think Noxus Shock can hit multiple enemies. Let me actually taste that right now. Okay, yeah. can. Also, transformation. You can just use go transformation, toxic fog, and just go back to your normal form and just spam all your other skills. Just like, just like with Go, like I mentioned earlier in the video, um, this can be used as a PvP and grind fruit. Um, so yeah, so yeah, random is just, it, it's pretty good. The only problem to get it is that, um, to obtain it, um, it's, it's pretty rare to get, and um, it's pretty overpriced and um, uh, pretty Alright guys, next fruit problem is, is um, Shree, but um, the only problem with Shree is that it has to be awakened. Um, uh, so yeah, that's the only problem with Shree, but uh, I'll show you why it's really good. It's because String is just super strong, especially the V-Skill. Um, this was probably the easiest Paramecia fruit to get a max mastery for me because it, it just did so much damage. So you just want to use your X skill, or like you can use your Z skill and then your V skill, or your X skill and then your V skill, or just use all three. You do Z skill, yeah, pull up and use your V skill down like this, and boom. Right? It's also pretty good for bosses. Uh, Eternal White is pretty much useless because I believe it's only single target. And this is also one of those good for grinding and PvP fruits. So if you're looking at PvP and grind, uh, string is a pretty good one. Uh, the flight is is okay, I guess. But yeah, string is really good for your and fruit for grinding. And let's move on to the next one. All right, guys, this actually you, you, you guys are gonna be like, what the hell are you thinking, friends? Um, you are so super really the dumbest monster you play I've ever met. Uh, chop is actually really good. Um, the only thing you don't do is just put your stack fruits in chop. Um, chop is really good because there's a lot of like sword NPCs in the game. So here, it's got sword NPC. Look at that. I could just, um, so like, my stat points, I can have chop, I can put my stat points in melee defense, and sword, sword or gun, and you just have chop as a support, because you can just gather all your enemies, and then just spam your emblems, look at that, it's so easy, um, the only problem is that it's just, it's just like, you don't get a, you don't get to actually have to get to use chop by yourself, which may, which might make the grind, like, boring for people, but so yeah, chop is really good, especially for games, there's a lot of sword NPCs in first seed, uh, I probably should have chopped in my. I probably should have put chop in my other top five list, but nah, I just want to put it. But um, yeah, chop is chop is just so good. But um, when there's like when you're fighting NPCs that don't have sword, you're pretty much screwed, and you have to like force to switch your double. Team. But um, yeah, chop is still pretty solid, and let's move on to the next one. All right, the final, all right, the final fruit is again obviously. Buddha, um, or awaken Buddha slash regular Buddha, because you only need to awaken only your Z skill. Because you can just run up and spam your M1, which is probably the best part of said grinding fruit in the game, and one of the best grinding fruits in the game in general. The only problem, well, just like with Venom, is it's just so overpriced in the, in the um, when the trading community. But um, you can just try to obtain it differently, or like use a different Paramecia fruit or Logia fruit if you're trying to get Buddha to grind with. You can also kind of use it for PvP, but to me, it's just pretty boring in PvP because you just run up and you spam your M1. Or just like turn on auto clicker and just spam dash. But oh yeah, Buddha is really good. It's also really good for bosses because you can just maintain your distance kind of like this so that they don't hit you. Oh so yeah, so yeah, that's all for this list. Um, let me know if this list was, was helpful for you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.